I keep hearing more and more often that people want to move away and downsize and get out of the cold. Maybe it's because it's the dead of winter, maybe it's because we're in the middle of a pandemic, but today I wanted to make a video offering some tips and tricks on how to think about relocating in retirement. My name is Nicole Sullivan. I am the co-founder and director of financial planning at Prism Planning Partners. And today we are going to talk about the process for relocating once you've retired. And to start off, I wanna say this isn't like a formalized process. I think it's a way to get you and your spouse um, on the same page and just wrap your head around the, the notion of picking up your life and moving to an area that you've never lived in before. Um, you know, I'm currently operating out of uh, the Chicagoland area here, and we have a lot of people who decide they wanna move to a warmer climate, maybe even as well a less expensive climate. And that's great, but there's definitely much that you need to research before you just uproot your life. The first thing is investigating um, where you wanna be and some of the features and benefits, truly going and making like a pros and cons list to different areas that you want to move to. Um, a major consideration is certainly the cost of living in a new area. Will you be able to um, you know, afford to buy a home that suits your needs um, you know, different places obviously have different um, costs of living as well. So you want to make sure that, you know, the, the tax rate is obviously appropriate for your situation. But, you know, day to day things like, you know, going to the grocery store or buying insurance that that may not be um, totally outrageous. Believe it or not, if the day to day costs are, you know, enough, it could certainly outweigh any potential tax benefit that you may receive by relocating. So important, I think, to work on that piece in collaboration with a financial professional who can help run some numbers. But I think more importantly than the financial piece is to make sure that, it, that a relocation is going to fit in with your lifestyle. So that's making sure that you have access to a group of friends and a social network, access as well to the airport so that you can get, um, get to visit folks quickly and easily, and also that you know kids, grandkids, and other friends can come and visit you with relative ease. Um, if you're remote, it can be very challenging as well to hop on a plane, but even you know to partake in activities of, of daily living. And most notably, I think that involves medical care. We've had a couple of clients contemplate wanting to move to remote areas um, but to find out later on that maybe these places were a little bit too remote and a little bit too far from their doctor. Another thought too regarding medical care is sometimes in very um, heavily uh, retiree friendly communities, there can be a shortage and a waiting list even to get in to see some of the top doctors. So definitely want to make sure that medical care is accessible and affordable um, in the new place that you're looking to, to move to. So after you've kind of done some due diligence and spoken, of course, with, with your friends and family members, I think it would be time to actually go to that location for an extended period. And I would recommend renting something like um, a home or an apartment for maybe a month or two months to really gain a feel for what the day-to-day -day living situation is. I think it's quite important to do this before you uh, sell a home and, and make a tremendous investment in a new residence. And finally, if both you and your spouse are in agreement that you want to move to a new state, it's time to do it. Um, a tip though is that if you're looking to establish residency in a new state, you need to make sure that you are completely severing ties with the professionals that you've worked with in your previous location. So this could, again, involve getting a new doctor, joining a new house of worship, joining a new gym. So thanks again for watching today's video. If you have any thoughts or tips and tricks you'd like to share about relocating in retirement, I'd love to hear your story. So feel free sending me an email, which I will put below. Also, please check out my website, which is prismplanningpartners.com. We have a tremendous amount of resources, eBooks, videos for you to peruse. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye-bye.